Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here. Now I've received a lot of feedback from several of you in the past and recently as well. And that's how do I export HDMI video from my Phantom 3 to say a uh, television or a field display or FPV goggles or something like that. Now there hasn't been that functionality because when you look at the controller for the Phantom 3, and this is the same with Phantom 3 Pro, that I have or the Phantom 3 Advanced, when you look at the controller in the back, it doesn't have an HDMI output, but it is now available and you can check the link within this video's description on 400 or below.com. I've got a link to it and basically what it is, and it's an actual DJI product, so it's not some hacked together component that, that may or may not work. But check the link within this video's description and basically what you do, you install it on your, uh, on your Phantom 3 Pro or your Phantom 3 Advanced controller and it'll give you an HDMI output. And that's a value because, you know, maybe you want to do a, uh, maybe you want to do a screen recording of what's going on. You output to an HDMI display that's been recorded. Uh, maybe you want to have someone in an audience watch the flight in real time use HDMI to output to a uh, to a large television or maybe you want to use FPV goggles use the HDMI output to output to uh, FPV goggles so I thought I would share this with everyone it was quite uh, I mean I'll be I'll be frank with you it was quite unexpected to see an add-on such as that for the Phantom 3 because if you're familiar if you're familiar with DJI and you follow their product lines, you know that before they put out the Phantom 3, they were they were really pumping the Inspire. And they were saying, oh, you can do this, it's a, you know, blah, 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 you know, insert whatever marketing lingo here. And they were really trying to make it seem like it just fell from the sky. And it was so glorious. But the fact of the matter is, and this is my assumption, by the way, I feel that they've realized, hey, you know, Phantom is a proven platform. Phantom is arguably the best drone on the market today. I feel that it is. And they probably say, well, you know, why? Why are we wasting our time? Why are we wasting our money, our technical resources on these other products when we can really make the Phantom better? And, you know, for me, loving the Phantom like I do, and I've been using Phantom since Phantom 1. I've used Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus and now the latest and greatest Phantom 3 Professional. And it makes me feel good. So, yeah, I haven't added the HDMI to mine yet, but that's simply because I don't really, at this point in time, I don't have a, uh, I don't have the need for it because I'm not flying with, with FPV goggles. I'm doing line of sight, so I don't really need to see what it sees. But I may pick one up just to be able to record because I did in my, if you watch my first video, the, the Phantom 3 first flight, you saw that I had screen recording, but you also saw that the screen recording contained, um, it had a lot of interference. And that was created by a third party iOS screen recording app that I was using to record my uh, iPhone 6 Plus. So this could, the HDMI out could be a convenient way if you wanted to record your flight you know, what you see on the screen when you're flying, it could be a convenient way to do that. So I hope this video is of value. Again, uh, you know, check the link within this video's description. I've got a link to it there, and I just thought it was cool news. Y'all have a good day.